Hey there, I'm Marilyn with WC Finishing Touch. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will be refinishing these two wood picture frames. The paintings were done by my grandmother's sister Valeria many years ago. The wood frames are 11 by 14 with paper gold trim. The goal is to give the paintings and frames of 60 plus years a new look. So now I'm going to disassemble the frames. Now I'm going to sand the frames by hand using 150 grit sandpaper. The frames paint and finish was practically non-existent. The 150 grit sandpaper will work well in removing what's on the frames. From Amazon I have these profile contour and angle sanding grips made of rubber. I will provide a link below to all the products used for the wood frames. I'm going through which grip to use that will fit the frame's contour and trim for easy sanding. I do have a block just in case I need it. I have picked the ones I will need to sand the frames. Let's get sanding. I went back to retrieve the profile sanding grips for the narrow trim on the frame. As you can see, I want to make sure I have the right one to use to fit the narrow space. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and I will have more content out in the near future. Back to sanding again. The sanding is done on the frames. I did have to use the wood block to sand along with the grips. The grips really helped with the process. The narrow angle helped with the narrow trim and the contour helped with the concave of the picture frames. The frames look great and it is down to the bare wood as you can see. The picture frames are a very sturdy wood oak. I will be using very thin and which pine oil based stain on the frames. 
it is one of my favorite stain colors because it gives a more natural warm brown color. I am using a foam brush to apply the stain. Be aware of the really cheap foam brushes because it will leave behind small pieces of black foam on your project. Make sure the throwaway foam brush is a sturdy one. The foam brush evenly applies the stain and I can use less stain for full coverage. It's time for the protective finish. I did a test spray first, then I applied an even spray coat on the frames for total coverage. After the first coat, I will do a light sanding and then apply a second coat. What helps me is I made a large Lazy Susan to turn the product to help with the even coating Projects. I am using very thin oil based satin finish for the frames. To help give the paintings and frames a new look, I have a pack of Picture Max kit with different sizes, a pack of 12 by 18 craft chipboards, and a picture hanging kit to the right. To put it all together, I will need to use a metal roller, a utility knife, an awl, the wire hanging kit itself, and snips to cut the wire of the picture hanging kit. I use a metal ruler to provide a strong firm edge when cutting the chipboard to size. In the later video, I will show you how to install the picture hanging kit. My great aunt Valeria's paintings look great with the makeover of wood picture frames and the new hanging wire.